Hey movie vision watchers, it's your head host Anthony's movie music corner in the video. It is now time to do season two, episode eight of the movie review show. Yep, this airs today. And the movie that I'm being reviewing for this episode is a movie that came out in 1994. I guess that was a movie on VHS, but the tape wrote so I got the DVD version a few years later. I got this DVD last year. In June. Last day of June I got this DVD. So in which here it is. The movie I'm talking about is excuse me. Angels in the Outfield. With Danny Clover, Tony Dancer, and Christopher Lloyd. Uh follow one of the movies that Gene shot the Today Show. Funny and irresistible. A dream of a hit says the movie minute. Uh, catch the movie that flew over the fence and into the hearts of millions of cheering fans. It's Disney's Angels in the Outfield, a field driven film about a young boy praying for her father, a struggling baseball team praying for a pennant. Danny Glover plays George Knox, the frustrated coach of the California Angels. A ragtag team of major league misfits who are down on their luck. But things begin to lurk up when 11 year old Roger, their biggest fan, starts giving not some winning tips for a real life angel named Al, who is Christopher Lloyd. The team miraculously climbs back into the pennant might race, all the while learning to believe in themselves. With its heavenly mix of outrageous comedy, dozen special effects, and amazing face action, this is News in the Outfield is an entertainment homework for the whole family. Um, includes some of the 5.1 surround sound, French and Spanish hotels, and widescreen 1.85.1. Walt Disney Pictures presents Danny Glover in Angels in the Outfield. It's listening to a caravan of pictures, a William Deere film, Tony Danza, Brenna Fricker, Ben Johnson, Joseph Gordon Levitt, J.O. Sanders, Milton Davis Jr., and Christopher Lloyd. The music composed by Randy Edelman, edited by Bruce Greenberg. I mean, Bruce Green, sorry, Bruce Green, AC. Production designer Dennis Washington. Cut to photography Matthew F. Leonti, ASC. Executive producer Gary Stutman. Based on the most picture, it is in the actor from the Turner Entertainment Company Library. Screenplay by Dorothy Kingsley, uh, George Wells, and Holly Goldberg Sloan. Produced by Irby Smith, Joe Roth, and Roger Birnbaum. Directed by William Deere. Ray PG from our language and it's 103 minutes. There's the disc, and the release date is July 15th, 1994. This DVD has not many previews, but has the blue FBI warning screens, the Walt Disney Video logo, the DVD menu, the Walt Disney Pictures logo, and the movie starts immediately. Also has caravan pictures will go shown as well. Yeah. Anyway, now my opinion on this movie. When I saw this movie once, um, just saw last night, I thought it was a great movie from the start. Really cool baseball movie, if you're into baseball. Even though I'm not really into the kind of sport, I'm kind of like a football fan. Dallas Cowboys. But hey, I, but hey, I like this movie. Favorite part would have to be um, where um, the ending in the part of the movie is great. Especially the ending credits, which is concert band music. That's my, that's the best part of the movie, is the music at the end. Yeah, awesome baseball movie. I would recommend it be like any of these uh, celebrities up here. Or it'd be like baseball or any kind of sport like soccer, basketball, football, uh, golf, cheerleading, or anything like that. 
Even volleyball, for instance, he will not really big of a volleyball fan. So yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, you should definitely watch it. Stay tuned for Pete's for my next episode. Next time on the Movie Review Show. Um, I will not be on for the next two weeks on November 26th or December 3rd. I'm not going to be on for those episodes. Uh, next week, um, Thanksgiving, and the week after that, um, I'm taking the episodes off. Sorry to put this on my music, so... Yeah, I'm going to take those episodes off, and I will be back filming this show on... December the 10th, so on my 4th anniversary to this YouTube channel I had, so I just wanted you guys to know that, that I will not be on for those two episodes, because uh, the 26th is Thanksgiving, and the 3rd, I mean, I'm just going to take the episode off. So, we got to survive for that. Anyway. That's it for this episode. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, give it a like, and follow me on Instagram, Anthony the Drummer Guy. And that's about it for this episode. Um, thank you for watching, and yours truly, Anthony's Movie and Music Corner, signing off until next time. And have a great one.